Ooh, weather factor. Hello everyone and welcome back to Pick a Search Place. It's been a while since I've been around. Um, lots of things happened. Basically I moved places and many more things happened. But anyway, here we are. And we're gonna play Culture Simulator, Perpetual Edition. I don't know what Perpetual Edition is. Maybe it's something that gets automatically updated? I don't know. As you can see, we're playing in Linux. Why? Because I use Linux most of the time. Or not most of the time, I think it's more like half of the time now. Um, this is a voiceover from the original audio. The original audio was terrible because of reasons. A lot of reasons. And, well, so I decided to take my time, finally, after weeks of being moving around. And here we are. Um, I don't know if there are any differences between the Linux version and the Windows version. There used to be some very weird bugs when I started playing this game in Linux. One of them being that I could not save the game. And that was very weird. <laughs> it was very, very weird. I cannot save the game for whatever reason. And yeah, that happened. So. So, well, I mean, it was that, and, and then there was some other minor issues that I think eventually got fixed. So, what are we doing right now? We're playing as an aspirant. The aspirant is the initial, um, I would say, path that you have. Um, in, in this game, you can have different paths, uh, depending on what happens at the end of your run. Sometimes you can get some very interesting... Um, I don't know if I should say challenges, but there are some very interesting things that could happen to you after um, after your first run, as it happened to me. I won't spoil it because I know that there are more things to see now, which is also very interesting. So what is important here? The, the important parts are we have funds, we have health. Health, we need health because if we're not healthy, we die. That's, that's basically it. Uh, we can use health to work, funds, we need funds to live. Uh, unfortunately, you may be a cultist, you may be little for cult, but you still need money to survive. Why? Because food and things. Basically, that's how the game puts it. I'm okay with that. I don't have an absolute problem with it. Now, here's the, here's the interesting thing. So, as the game progresses, when we start, we get different things. Right now, we only have work and dreaming. Uh, right now we're setting up our name, speak of search, the aspirant. Um, there used to be a very peculiar thing that happened in Linux. I don't know if that was because... Um, I don't know if it was because there was a problem with, um, with Linux or Unity or something like that, but I remember clearly that there used to be pillars if you left the space and I like that actually. I like that a lot. Why? Because uh, pillars are very reminiscent of what an occultist, what, what an occult society, not an occultist, or occult society would have. Uh, usually, an occult society divides itself by the profane, who are the people that are that live outside the temple or the columns, and those who are initiated. Those who are initiated have have seen the sun, the light. Uh, have seen the truth or some other equivalent to knowledge and basically it's just it's just it's just a very symbolic way to explain that you have been initiated and you belong to something else something that's not part of what the rest of the world is and I can speak from this um, I can speak from experience as I have some friends that have been initiated into Freemasonry and the Rosicrucians. I'm initiated into, into Freemasonry, so I really like this game. I really like the, the feeling that the author gave it. I mean, it's, it's not... It's obviously... It took their time to do research. I, I like how the mechanics work. For example, contentment. You have, you're, you have your place in life, and you're happy with your place in life. Um, something very important with that is that you have 
good stats, bad stats, and then you have horrible stats that can cycle you to no end. That happened to me on my first or second run where I could not get away from, from basically madness. I was just like one click away from madness and the, even though I had the money, it just wasn't enough for that. Just couldn't get, um, just couldn't get what I needed. Uh, painting is one of the ways to get money. Health is one of the, I mean, passion is one of the ways to get money because you paint. Health, you do physical work and reason you do uh, you do I would say the logical pathway which is also what Lovecraft did but he didn't like it so he was always out of money although he already had money it's a very interesting thing because it, it's a mixture of, of it's a mixture of many things many stories of many I don't know if I should call it as real life events because I, I, I wouldn't say that that seeing some of the things here are real or maybe they are I don't know I, I don't know enough to be honest um, but so where was I okay well the point is the game is based off of, of a very interesting collection of assumptions and non-assumptions one of the things that I really like is that you have different ways to do things here. I mean, I could just paint all the time and see what I can get from that. I mean, that, that may or may not get me anywhere. Um, okay, so right now what we're doing is every skill can, can get an additional, I would call it bonus, I don't know if that's the right word, but glimmering is the additional passion to glimmers and you get a another passion you have to research that for health if you do oh, we're being okay so time is time passes and we're not being money is a thing now okay so with glimmer you get an additional passion with health you get uh, additional bonuses and you get additional additional health with reason the same thing What's the benefit? You can do multiple things at the same time, and sometimes you have special events that will require either one of them, and if you only have one, uh, you're gonna have a very bad time. And this also happened to me the first time, I didn't know that you could do that. Uh, you kinda learn some of the things in this game as you go, which I didn't like at first, because I understand the whole point of... Sorry. Woo! I understand the whole point about having to figure things out. Just like the esoteric, you have to figure some of the stuff out because sometimes there's no one to guide you and sometimes the instructions are confusing but that's a different subject because there are instructions, I just don't read them because I don't want to spoil myself I know that there's a lot of stuff that I have not seen in this game and I don't want to get there yet unless I do it on my own I, I, and I usually, I usually spoil myself by, by going and, and then doing, oh yeah, sure, I'll just read and see what's going on and whatnot, and, and I completely spoil the game. Also, the artwork used for this game is fantastic. The the trestle board that you use for, for when you initiate someone or when you create your own society, if I should call it, or cult. Um, the trestle board, so it's a thing they use in Freemasonry. It's part of the ritual, either initiatory or to be raised in ranks. Um, funny story is that in Freemasonry only the three first ranks that you will ever see, which is part of the universe of Freemasonry, or the, or the blue lodges, is valid and recognizable worldwide. The rest of them are philosophical grades and they have no real value aside from letting people know that you studied a lot more. And in some cases you still a lot more, and in some cases you don't, because there are ways to skip those degrees and whatnot. Um, but don't take my word, you actually have to study a lot. Just don't listen to me, kids. Study hard. And you have, you have to pay a lot. The only thing is that you, you basically skip all the time that you have to take to, to get where you need to be. Instead of taking 20 years, you just do it in, I don't know, maybe a month or so. Something like that. 
Which is possible. It's humanly possible. I've, I've seen people do that, and that's okay. So what are we doing now? We are studying. Well, not studying. We're dreaming right now. Um, I can recall the path, uh, how to get to, to the rings, and this is the thing why I'm kind of stuck right now in what I'm doing in, in the game. Um, I tried very hard to figure this out, and I'm still trapped a little bit, so I apologize if I'm, I sometimes look very insistent on, on just throwing stuff from a Watcher Secret or other things, but um, yeah. I, again, I kind of forgot how that works, so I can't recall what's what's the right way to get into the dream and, and going to the other, uh, not paths, but to go elsewhere and, and just learn more stuff. I'm not going to spoil more of that because I know I'm, I've already spoiled it up. Let's just, let's just get into the game. So, one of the things that I do have is uh, that I'm looking for enlightenment. So enlightenment is basically just getting to know something that, yeah, because as far as I can dream, I must perform the work, but I can't do that yet because I, I need to, I need to gather other stuff. And I think I'm, I don't think that's true. I don't think that I have reached as far as I can go. I, I have actually just begun. An acquaintance, nice. So acquaintances are very important in this game. One of the things that they will give you is the possibility of capturing people, fighting people, kidnapping people. Did I say they already say kidnapping people? I think I did. And, and you can use them for certain rituals. And you can also use them to found a mystical or society or esoteric society or whatever you want to call it. There's a ton of different names that you can use for that. Um, there are special characters. There are some... There are special characters, normal characters, and I would say just scrap characters or tunes. I don't know what's the right word. But the thing is that uh, some of the minor characters don't have any value. They're just disposable. They're just followers. That's basically what they're called. Uh, normal characters are characters like this one that allows you to basically. Um, it allows you to form a society. You could, I think you could also do it with someone else. Not sure, but I, I would assume that they are better at something than just the goons. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. I may, maybe I don't know the difference. And I'm just making that up. And there are kind of special characters that you don't use directly, but you interact with. Um, I do remember that I found this lady that gave me a quest, and this quest is asking for some, something very specific and I can't recruit her as far as I recall so that means that uh, look at that beautiful moon um, that means that I need to just complete the quest so I can get something from her that's it that's, that's basically it I, I think I need to research something or write something or I don't know to be quite honest um, two things that I don't like in this game well, one thing actually yeah, there are some cards that are very bad as I mentioned before Mystique and Notoriety are some of them. Mystique can draw the attention of people, good or bad, that can vary. That can vary. Notoriety, that's one that you don't want because it's the same effect but it can actually pull, um, it can pull a police officer, it can pull a detective, it can pull someone that tries to hunt you because it happens from time to time. And See, the thing here is, I, I don't know, I, I don't, well, it's, it's not that I don't know, but I have tried in the past to take on them, I think once I succeeded, but I don't know if there's other ways to dispatch of those people that are middling and doing things that they shouldn't be doing, you know, like, asking around what you do, or if you you know if you know something they shouldn't know and maybe then you lose the game because they put you in jail or maybe they do something else and if I'm not mistaken that I, that, that actually opens that's one of the pathways that can open up on, on a follow-up a little bit of a spoiler there 
uh, but the police can be one of the pathways that you can take after you lose in this one or you win in this one, I don't know. I mean, again, I, I have never won in this game. I played for a while, and mm, I, I, I mean, I, I've gone pretty far, but that's it. I mean, I haven't managed to win a single, single section. It's, it's, it can get to be a complicated game, that's for sure. It can get to be a very complicated game. Definitely. And... We're finishing up the... Uh, the creation of the society. At this point. We got our recruit. We got our path. Uh, we got everything, I believe. Restlessness. Yeah, that's another kind of thing that we don't want. You could use it with passion when you paint, and, it, and it's good because I think you eliminate it. I mean, there's there's certain ways to get things off the way. Like, if you are sick, you can pay. That's it. End of story. You you just heal up and that's it. Or you can use vitality, like there. You can use one vitality to heal any ailments. Um, for madness, you can pay and then you get contentment, or you can gain contentment. But I'm, I'm not exactly sure how you will go and gain containment. Uh, that's not through money. I, I believe that there might be something else in bait trigger. Again, I haven't reached that far, to be quite honest. Also, I see that there's a heart. I don't know if that's good. I don't know if that's good or not because sometimes uh, seeing a heart. Can be a very dumb thing. A rise begins. I have found that my cult is a step to great power. Or greater madness because, you know, that all happens. You believe that you are on your way to glory and then off you go to hell. Yeah. Who knows? Who cares, maybe? Murder of glory. Ah, there's achievements now. You gotta remember that. <laughs> Temporary headquarters, I. I would assume that there is other headquarters. Yeah. I mean, if, if you can find Moreland shop and you can find the warehouse and all the other stuff, I'm pretty sure that you could find a, a different headquarters. Which would, I mean, I would assume also that that gives you something else. More security or more people that you can recruit. I don't know how much people you can recruit at any given time. Um, there's a lot of things that I don't know about this game. Everything that I've done, I've learned as I played along. Also, you may see that it's the game is paused. You can pause, go normal, or fast forward. Fast forward can sometimes be very fast. So I tend not to use that a lot. Because, um, because, yeah. Because you can, you can, you can sometimes ruin your game because of that. And, see, there we go. The wrong kind of attention. I mean, we don't have an adversary right now, like, no one's following us, so it doesn't generate anything, but sometimes it will trigger, like, oh, you know what, there's someone, there's someone looking around that's just like, oh, crap, really, yeah, really, oh, there we go, Dread. Yeah, Dread. Uh, there's a way to remove Dread to Dreaming. Okay, I can't recall, also forgot that you could just actually click on on the right side to see what's what's applicable what do you need it's again it's it, these are things that you learn as you go sometimes i forget about those sometimes i forget about things that i'm doing and well things happen or things don't happen <laughs> i mean it depends uh stronger physique it's i think you get you, you are less prone to be ill with, with a stronger physique just like in real life. But I don't know if there's any other benefits for that, to be honest. I would be intrigued to know more about that. Um, so anyway, I think... Yeah, I think this is... Um, this is gonna be it for the first episode. It's gonna be around 20 minutes each. Not much, not too much, not too little. Um, I'm gonna be trying to edit these as best as possible with my current setup. That's gonna be it for now. Thank you very much for tuning in. 
Remember, if you have comments, questions, or even help about, about the game, because I know that I'm going to miss a lot, uh, don't hesitate to comment down below. Uh, remember to like, share, and subscribe if you haven't done so.